Hello everybody. Welcome back to another video. Long time no see folks. It's been a couple of years I think. Who knows. But I'm back. Hopefully this time for a while. <laughs> if I don't get too busy with life and my business. But either way, uh, today I'm going to be working on the Sega Genesis that, I ha that I've had here for a while. Uh, this one was purchased uh, in a big lot that I got a few years ago. Uh, maybe two, two years ago when I was recording uh, this one has a um, an issue where it, it's, it's got no power, so I'm not sure what that means. Uh, here's the um, here's the board. Uh, it's a where's the model number down here? Uh, it's a VA7 uh, USA board. So I did notice that well, the the uh, LED is missing, so it's in this bag here. Uh, so it's the connector. So we're going to solder that back on and then I also noticed down here That this was worked on so Looks pretty shitty. So hopefully I could uh, make it look a little better uh, I don't know about that, but I'll try Again, I haven't been in the uh, I haven't really done any electronics work for a couple of years now last time I I was in the actual field of electronics was back in about 2017 when I um I was working for a company uh, where I did field service and I left that company and started my business and haven't really touched anything since then other than, you know, just some basic, you know, videos that you've seen on my channel, just cleaning and stuff like that. But I want to get more deep into the, uh, into actually, you know, uh, doing some component replacement, doing more troubleshooting and hopefully I uh, get back into the swing of things and hopefully with your help I can do that. So like I said, today I'm going to be working on this Genesis 1. Here's the uh, model number. It's a uh, 1601. It's uh, the first generation, the original Genesis. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably piece it all together and plug it in and test it to see if it works. Uh, connect, well, put the, uh, the LED back on and fix the uh the 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 plug gosh um and do that and then put it back together and test it to see what actually is wrong with it and then if it works cool if it doesn't then i will hopefully try to troubleshoot and see where the problem might be or what the problem could be so um let me uh get everything in order and we'll get started okay so let's let's continue with this um i had such a hard time trying to i don't have a power supply for the Genesis so I need to order one but in the meantime you know thankfully I have the uh, the power supply so I can at least inject the the voltage uh, you know through the uh, alligator clips here so it was hard for me to find where to plug them onto because I couldn't do it from the from the actual plug because of the uh, there I just couldn't clip it on period and then ground was a pain in the ass trying to get a ground, a good ground. So I just went ahead and, and uh, the 9 volts are coming in through the through the bottom trace that was repaired. So we'll see if it's holding. I even checked it to make sure it's not shorted out to ground. So it's holding. It's it's good there. And then our, our ground is here. Oh, let me turn this on. Our ground is here. So we've got a good ground. So let's check and see if we have voltage on the board itself. I did watch a couple of videos to try to get an idea as to where I should check for the five volts. So I'm going to check on the power on the voltage regulator. And then obviously I'll check on the LED over here to make sure that uh, there's power going to that. So let's inject nine volts in here. Let me turn on the power supply. And set this to nine. Nine. Okay. Let's check and see what we have. So we should have obviously five volts or nine volts here. We do. And then we should have voltage on the actual voltage regulator. So on this diode, we should have eight volts coming in. I mean, I mean nine volts coming in and then I think eight volts coming out. Yeah, 8.19 coming out. And that goes on to the input of the, uh, of the voltage regulator here. So we should have 8.1. Okay, we have the 8.17 and then the output should be 5. So it should take it down to 5 volts. And do we have 5 volts? Where is the output? There it is. 
Yes, we do, five volts. Uh, and I could check on the LED to make sure that we do have five volts going to the LED, the power LED. Uh, pos here, positive, wait. Uh, there we go, five volts. So this is positive right here on this side. Pin one is positive, which makes sense. Okay, so we do have power going through the board, so maybe it doesn't have a power issue. Uh, let me make sure that now that it's turned off that there is actually no power going through, and there isn't. Okay, good. All right, so with that said, let me put this LED back on, the LED cable back on, and let's try to fix these traces down here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it around and... Uh, get started with that so I'll be back in a sec okay let's see what we can do here if anything I mean it doesn't doesn't look too too bad it seems like um, it seems like it got bridged so it seems like we need to these two here which is I'm assuming it's the negative uh, from the uh, from the plug here uh, got bridged probably the uh connection got broken which makes sense as to why maybe it didn't have any power uh, it wasn't making contact so this got bridged here and then this one got bridged here maybe and i could see that there's a trace broken here i don't know what's down here i don't know if i don't know what happened here i don't know why there's a, a wire coming onto this one and this one i mean i would think it would just be these two here that need to be bridged but i don't know let's see let me go ahead and um, remove this solder and uh, see what's going on. Let's get some flux. Let's flux it up. Ooh, this thing hasn't been used in a while. Okay. Hopefully uh, my uh, iron reaches. Looks like it did. Let me try on my extractor real quick. It might get noisy, guys, so if it gets too loud, I might need to either do um, a voiceover or add some music or something, so we'll see. It's pretty much evident here what the problem is. Uh, once I took a better close, a closer look, I could see that the the actual pad itself around these um, uh, pins is is I mean it's missing around this one. It's missing. It's missing around this one here. It's missing around this one here. So that's why it was bridged the way it was bridged. So we're gonna bridge it from here to here, and we're gonna bridge this one from here to here, and then from here to here. So this is this is our our our, our positive. This is our ground here. So we're going to bridge our ground from here to here. And we're going to bridge this one from here to here to here. And I've got a 26 gauge wire. So, yeah, I haven't really, uh, it's been a while since I've actually did any kind of solder work. And uh, when I used to work for as a field service tech, we just did board swaps because we just didn't have the time to do any component level. Uh, repairs because we were just you know one call after another after another so we would just swap out to carry all the boards in our in our in our in our trucks vans whatever and then swap them out and then send the bad ones back to get refurbished and you know restock our, our inventory so uh, it's been a while since I've actually did any soldering whatsoever so my apologies if it looks crappy but hey I'm trying and of course any any um, constructive criticism is always appreciated and uh, We'll we'll learn together. I'm not I'm not claiming to be a pro. This is just a hobby for me, and something that I really enjoy. So uh, hopefully you guys can understand if something looks crappy or if it's you know not the proper technique or whatever. But I'm doing what I can, and that's the best I can do. Eventually it'll get better, hopefully. And uh, let's go on this trip together. We'll see what happens. So uh, I'm going to bridge this here, like this. And then from here, bridge it onto this. 
think I'm gonna do the ground first since the ground seems to be a little easier to do. So we're just gonna connect it here and here, and that's that for ground. So we'll just get do that first. So uh, let's turn on the oven. The oven. Oh shit! I'm thinking about dinner already. I also cook dinner, so uh, I'm thinking about dinner. Shit. Sorry, folks. Okay. Turn on our our iron. Turn on our extractor again. If it gets too loud, once I uh, go back and do the editing. I'll just uh, add music or I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out. But for now, let's let's get going here. Dude, these wires are so freaking small, man. Should I just leave it there? Yeah, we'll leave it there. I don't think it's going to, plus I'm going to put a solder mask over it, so it'll be okay. Okay, so we're back. I gave it some time to dry, a few seconds. So let's see if everything looks good here. Looks good there. Just make sure. Good. Make sure it's not grounded. Nope. Okay. Or short it. Good. Good. Let me zoom out a little bit so you guys can see what's going on here. And then we're going to check to see if, if, oh, we'll do it like this. Cool. I didn't burn anything in here. Nice. So we'll check here. Oh man, it's too close. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. <laughs> this is such a pain in the ass. Okay. Get all the stuff out of the way. All right. Um, so where are we right here? So this one is our, our ground right good there. It's not shorted, not shorted out here. Good. And then our positive is right here. So then let's check and see if we're good there. And that's not grounded. So we're good. Okay. Let me see it nice and nice and sturdy. Perfect. All right, so that's good. Next thing is going to be the uh, the LED over here. Okay. Now this connector here. I'm only wearing one glove. So this is where the uh, the LED is going to plug into. Um, or it just the legs of the LED just go in there. 
I remember correctly. So this just goes in like this. Hopefully you can see that. So it goes in like this. Like that. If I can get it in. Or is it the other is it the other one? No, yeah, it's it's this one. It's just I'm not they're not the legs are not straight, so it's not going in right or smoothly. But like that. So that's how it was, if I recall correctly. Like that. And then this is what soldered onto the board. But I noticed that I don't know how the hell I'm going to solder this onto the board. Um, I might have to take the actual uh, plug off, disconnect these, and then just solder it straight onto the board itself. So I think that might be the best thing to do. Otherwise, I mean, yeah, I'll melt the plastic if I use a, uh, the um, the heat gun. Or what is it? Uh, the uh, The heat station. Hot air station. Hot air station. There you go. The hot air gun. Jesus. Yeah, you could see there that it just came off the board itself. So this goes in like this, like this, just like that. You guys can see that or not. Yeah, you could see it, right? Can you? Something like that. So it sits there. Um, and I, I honestly don't think there's any way for me to be able to do that without taking, just taking this off and doing it the easy way. So we'll do that. So let me let me go ahead and tin the uh, tin these leads and add some solder here and get this going. So be back in a sec. I went ahead and uh, removed the uh, the wires that were there, so that way it'll make it easier for us to uh, put on the new wires. I saved you the pain of having to uh, see me desolder that and remove that. So consider yourself lucky. So let's go ahead and put this on um, and get my iron, turn on my extractor. All right, give it a shot. Sorry about that. I know it looks like shit, but <laughs> geez, man. I really need to set up my microscope so I could do this under the microscope where I could actually see what I'm doing because I'm just, I mean, not only is the rig in the way, I don't want to get my, my head, you know, in, in, the, uh, in the view of the, um, of the camera. I need to crouch down. It's just a pain in the ass. But either way, I think we're good there. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and, uh, Connect the the, uh, the nine volts, and the LED should go in here. If I could find it, where did I leave the LED? The LED, LED. Let me turn this off. Here's the LED, right here. Let me zoom out a bit now. Now that we there, we go. Zoom out just a bit to uh, get a better view of what we're doing here. So the LED is next. Um, if I recall correctly, the longer leg is your positive, I think. It's going to have to come off, but I just want it on. I just want it here just so I can test it. Leave it like that for now. I'm going to go ahead and plug everything in, clean this up real quick. Uh, try to uh, get those, the, uh, the voltage, uh, somehow on this so it, it doesn't, um, since I don't have the adapter, I need to, uh, use the variable power supply. So give me a few minutes, I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and put the LED on, and now let's try to connect some power and see how we can, uh, all right, LED is on. I mean, not on as in on off, but on as in I put it into the connector. And now let's plug in the nine volts. Um, got it from here last time. 
Let's see if I could get it from here again. Right there. Let me let me test it real quick just to make sure I have the ground. Uh, ground. Let's see real quick. Ground. Yes. Okay. So ground is good. And now let's connect the positive. Actually, let me take this off here. I was trying to check this out. I think I could connect it like this. I could grip it like grip it like this. And it should uh, grab. I know you can't see it, but uh, from there. And then this one back where it was. Let me just make sure we have the ground again. Just to make sure. No. Wait, let me double check. No. Right there. Nope. Where was it? I lost it. There we go. Five volts is here and down here. Yeah, we have five volts and we have ground. Okay, cool. Make sure it doesn't slip off. Not the best setup, but it will do for now. Let me just double check. Okay, let's turn this on. Uh, nine volts, right? Let's see. And I need to make some room for my meter here. So let me push this over a bit. And meter. And DC. Power. Okay, we have a red LED, so that's, that's good. That's a good sign. Let's check our voltages. So we should have... Nine volts going into here. Yeah, eight point was it one two? Eight point one five. Let's see the voltage regulator. Five volts. And we have five volts on the LED, obviously we do. Five. Oh two volts. Wait, is it at one no? Oh yeah, because there's probably a load to it. Um aren't aren't LEDs one point five? Forget. But we do get voltage to LED regardless. Two volts under load, maybe. Either way, it's on. That's all that matters. I don't care. Uh, so now, the next step would be to assemble this. Put it back together and uh, see what we get. See if we could... Um, let me put it back together. Well, you guys can see. I'll do a... Um, uh, a time lapse so bear with me and let me get all the parts and we will actually you know what um i need to let me turn this off and it didn't smoke so that's a good thing let me turn off the power supply too so i don't short anything out accidentally take this off take this off uh where are the covers i'm gonna go ahead and clean these off they're super, super filthy, so I'm going to go over to the sink, wash these, uh, try to get some of this rust off. I've got some rust remover here somewhere, so I'm going to put some on there, try to see if I could get some of that rust off. And then, um, you know, clean these up a bit. Uh, they're very, very dirty. And, I mean, they must have been liquid damage. Uh, here's, there's some broken um, uh, posts here, so let's see how that's going to affect it. Uh, we'll see. I think I have some posts somewhere that if if these are indeed um, needed to um, for whatever, I've got some posts that we could hot glue or crazy glue onto the board, so that shouldn't be a problem. And then this is the other half. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash all this down, and um, get it nice and clean, and I'll come back and put it together. Okay, everything is washed. So now um, let's get to assembling. I was looking at the actual bottom cover and it does have a bunch of broken posts. So I think I'm gonna grind those off. This is why, I mean, it came out a lot better. It's not brand new, but it is better. It was all full of, it was all full of syrup. I don't know what, something must have spilled in there. I'm not sure. And then I did apply some of the um, rust remover onto the panels but it kind of etched the uh it etched it so it's all dull now but 
no one's gonna see this. I could always polish it, I guess, if I really wanted to make it look better. I've got some polish there and I could just polish it out, buff it out, but I don't think it's necessary. This is gonna be for my personal collection, so I really don't need to worry too much about the um, aesthetics of it. But with that said, I do need to worry about these here. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to grind these off, grind off the broken ones, this one, this one, this one's broken. Um, where's my pointer at? Here it is. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight that are broken. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind them off with the uh, with the with the rotary tool, grind everything off, and then I've got these posts here. I'm just going to uh, glue some new ones on. I think this is the size that works best. Let me just check. The two different sizes. Oh, where are my tweezers? So there's this size. Where did I put it? Right here. So I know you're not gonna be able to see it because you're the top down, but you can kind of see it almost. They're probably identical in size. Let me see. So you know you guys can see that there. Where are we? Right there. I mean, it's millimeters off. And then there's these other ones, but these are shorter. So I don't think these these will work. They're a lot shorter. So we're gonna go ahead and um, use these instead. So let me go ahead and start grinding these off and uh, see how it goes. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't, it doesn't crack the actual plastic. I mean, you can see how brittle it is, but we'll see. Let me uh, grab my tool here. I was trying to um, find my my flexible shaft for for the tool here, but I couldn't find it. I don't know where I left it, so I'm going to try to try my best to get in here with with this with the cutting disc, and then maybe use a, a little sanding drum like this. Then I've got some some of these here, a little bit more abrasive and this one to try to get in there and uh, take them down so let's give it a shot and let's see what happens here we go this thing turns on that is there we go cow man that was a pain in the butt I am sweating so I went ahead and put all the posts that activator with the crazy glue does wonders I wish I would have known about it uh, sooner uh, but everything is dude this thing it's really good um, it, ba it it bonds really really well so I'm definitely gonna stick to using that from now on now let's go ahead and put this back together 
and then we're going to test it and see what happens. Let's let's get started here. Um, this one. Oh no, I think it's going to go like this. Like that. Good. And now the board. The board's going to go like this. Perfect. This goes here. Uh, and then the next shield. And this is what's going to screw everything down. After the shield, I mean, after the shield, we screw everything down. That's what I wanted to say. Oops. Sorry about that. Big ass head. Oh, I actually, you know what? It doesn't go through there. This one goes out through here. Last thing I want to do is have to take everything apart once I put it together. Yeah. Goes in through there. Alright. Let's put some start putting some screws in and make sense of this. So that's done. Now, where is this piece? This goes on to this. This goes on to this, but after we put the LED in. So the LED goes in through here. Where did I put it? I just had it a second ago. Uh, la, 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 la. I don't know where it's at. I'll check right now. This goes in here. Is there a right way on the wrong way? I'll probably put it in the wrong way. Okay, that one's good. Now where's the damn LED? Alright, so this is going to go in through here. Like this. Like that. And this goes like this. Like that. And this goes in here like this. Holy fudge. There we go. Oh, wow. Whew. That was not fun. This up. I'll add some uh, some silicone grease in there. Okay. Six screws. We have six screws. I'm not gonna screw it in yet till we test it. So let me let me go grab the um, my power supply. All right, folks. We're finally heading towards the finish line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug in the console. I finally got my uh, power adapter and uh, we're going to connect to that monitor right there and see if we get an output. So let me just, um, I'm only using one hand right now. So let me uh, uh, stop for stop recording for a sec and then I'll come back as soon as I plug everything in. So bear with me. Okay, everything is plugged in. Got my controller, got the power and my uh, my video line, video cable. Um, I'm using an adapter to go from uh, from this to uh, HDMI to go onto the go into the monitor. I'll go ahead and link everything that I use in the description in case you're interested. So I've got two games here. Let me zoom out just a bit. I feel like I'm zoomed in way too much. Uh, I have Wheel of Fortune. 
And then I've got this one here, uh, Street Fighter 2. So I think Street Fighter 2 is definitely the one to go with. So let me go ahead and get this. Put it in. Uh, turn on the monitor. And you know what else? Let's try this. Let me plug in. Because I don't, I don't think I could get audio out of the um, HDMI. Let me just plug it in real quick. I don't know the way. Hold on. Bear with me, guys. Sorry. There we go. <clears throat> It's hard trying to do this with one hand. Okay, so we're good there, we're good there. On here, you have the light. Do we have anything on the monitor? Okay, something happened. Ooh, yes, let me turn on the receiver real quick. Get some audio. And let me see if I could get both of them at the same time here. I don't hear anything. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow, cool. too loud that sounds pretty cool actually I like that press start start Ooh, nice oh I won't be able to play because I'm using my hand my hand to record but yeah it's working folks so I'm gonna go ahead and um well oh, nice I haven't played Street Fighter in like forever man I wouldn't even know. I think, oh, well, I'm not gonna try it, but everything seems to be working. So um, let's go ahead and uh, shut this off. And I think we we have a uh, successful repair. Oh man, you guys don't know how happy and surprised I am that it actually worked. I mean, all this, <laughs> this was all in pieces when I got it. So I'm actually glad that I was able to fix it. So let's put it back together now and call this one done okay all the screws are in there I'm missing this cap here this cover so I'm pretty sure I'll come across another Genesis and I'll just take it from there and now Oh, uh, this this slides a lot easier now because I added a little bit of just a small little dab of um, silicone grease in there, so it's a lot easier to to uh, uh, control whatever. Now let's add some let's add some some sheen to this. That's what I'm using. I love the way this thing smells. It smells really good. A little bit goes a long way. I think I, th I think I might have added too much, but I'll spread it out. And there you go, finito, all set. I think it came out decently well. I mean, it was all in pieces. I, didn't, I was hoping I had all the parts in there. I mean, I, I am missing this cover here, but I, again, I'm pretty sure I could find that somewhere. Um, I think I have one or two more Genesis consoles in here somewhere. So if I'm not able to fix those, I'll just take it from there and um, put it onto this one. But this is all done. We saved it. We saved it from uh, ending up in a landfill somewhere and hopefully able to enjoy it for years to come. And uh, so that's going to be it for the video, folks. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. If you have any suggestions, any ideas, anything you want me to fix, let me know. And I will see you in the next one. Take care and uh, stay safe. Bye.